There was plenty of hoopla back in November when the U.S. launched its newest weather satellite, GO-16, in large part because the images it'll send back from space will be much crisper than what we're used to. But the truth is, instruments nearly identical to those on GO-16 have been on a similar Japanese satellite for more than a year. That satellite is called Himawari-8. Himawari is Japanese for sunflower. And here's its view of the Earth from 22,500 miles above the equator. That's Southeast Asia on the upper left, Australia bottom center. To give you a feel for the imagery we can expect from the new U.S. satellite, I'll show you some of Himawari 8's best from last year and do some science along the way. Now, Himawari 8 mostly sees ocean, so I have two examples with tropical cyclones. Here's Super Typhoon Chaba, just south of Okinawa on October 3rd at peak intensity, sustained winds 165 miles per hour. Imaged every two minutes, you can really see the high altitude clouds moving away from the center, the striations emanating outward revealing the upper level divergence that removes air from the eye, keeping pressure low. On a smaller scale, the complexity of the cloud patterns in the eye of a powerful hurricane is very evident in this close-up of Super Typhoon Napartak as it approached Taiwan on July 7th. Look at all the little whirls, called mesovortices, meandering in the center. The difficulty in properly representing these in computer models helps explain why intensity forecasts of hurricanes have not improved much in recent decades. Now to some other phenomena. Here's something you don't see too often, a total solar eclipse from space. This was last March. See the dark blotch move across the Earth's face, starting center left over Indonesia and moving northeast across the Pacific? That's the moon's shadow during the eclipse. Here on a much smaller scale and in full color, Himawari 8 captures smoke from wildfires. This is near Perth in southwestern Australia. The heat from the fires helped bubble up convective thunderstorm clouds, what we would call pyrocumulonimbus. Finally, one of my favorites. Basic physics tells us that when fluids encounter obstacles, swirls or eddies can form in the fluid, and that idea is nicely illustrated here. The southern tip of South Korea is at the top of this image. Just to its south is the island of Jeju. As strong north winds encountered the volcanic high terrain on this island, whirlpool-shaped cloud features known as von Karman vortices formed to its south, the counterclockwise swirls lining up one after another in sort of street-like fashion. Many thanks to the Cooperative Institute for Research in the atmosphere at Colorado State University, which archives much of the Himawari 8 data. Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.